Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the Save As command to save a project file for the first time. The Save As command lets you choose where to save the file and what to name it. To do this, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then choose the Save As command in the command panel at the left side of the backstage view. To the right of the command panel are the places available for you to save the file. If signed in using a Microsoft account, you may see online storage like OneDrive folders or SharePoint sites appear within the list. All users will see the This PC choice in the list for saving files to your local computer. If you select one of the online storage sites associated with your Microsoft account, you can save and access the file from any computer when signed in with your Microsoft user account. If you select the This PC choice, the file is saved locally on the computer or local network location at which you are currently working. After selecting a choice, recently accessed folders for the selected area appear to the far right. You can click one of these folders to launch a Save As dialog box with the folder location already selected. Alternatively, if there are no folders listed within these areas, or if the folder you want to open is not shown, you can click the Browse button below the list of areas to also launch a Save As dialog box where you can select a folder to use for the save location. After selecting a location to save the file, use the Save As dialog box to enter a file name into the file name field. File name should be short and descriptive. You cannot use the following symbols in a file name. The colon, the forward slash, the backslash, the greater than sign, the less than sign, the asterisk, double quotes, or the pipe symbol. Give the file a name you will remember and be sure to remember to which folder you saved it. The latter step is often more crucial. People will often remember what they called a file but can't remember into which folder they saved it. After entering the file name and noting the save location, click the Save button in the Save As dialog box to finish saving the file. Once the file is saved, its name appears within the title bar. To save changes to the file in the future, just click the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar, or click the File tab in the ribbon, and then click the Save command. You can also press the Ctrl plus S keys on your keyboard to save the changes to your file. You will not need to re-enter the file name and select a location. The changes are automatically saved to the existing file. If you have the Sync with SharePoint choice shown in the Save Area locations when saving a project file, the save process is a bit different. To do this, select the Sync with SharePoint choice. Then use the Sync with drop-down to choose to sync with either a new SharePoint site or an existing SharePoint site. If you select the new SharePoint site choice, then enter the name of the project into the Project Name field. Then enter or select the site address of the SharePoint site from the last drop-down. Then click the Save button to create the new SharePoint site with the tasks list at the URL you selected. The project file is also saved to the SharePoint site. If you select the existing SharePoint site choice, then use the site address drop-down to select the name of the SharePoint site to use. Then select the name of the existing tasks list from the task list drop-down. Then click the Save button to sync with the existing SharePoint tasks list and save the project file to the selected SharePoint site. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.